Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, royal lineage of the new Lemurian timeless manifestation. Happy full blue moon in Aquarius. We have massive divine feminine energies on the rise today with this most powerful Luna goddess activation. We are also aligned with the royal star Regulus and the Lyra nation of the new earth coming in fully now. With these higher gamma waves and energies flowing in, we had another major activation in the root chakra of Pachamama today with a M7.1 17 mirror earthquake in South Sandwich Islands again today, the root chakra of the Kundalini. The Kundalini of the rainbow serpent of Gaia is rising in the sine waves of the one law up the spine of Mother Earth and out her crown star chakra portal. Ground crew are feeling these energies running up and down the spine today in massive crown activations. We feel these in the peak of our physical vessel and in our experience of the holy water and heavenly fire rising and flowing with these new energies pulsing in. We are the witness to these great prophecies coming to fruition and we came on mission to assist Gaia and all her children through this ascension journey. Earth Angels, you are fully activated and on task for the greatest shift in eternity. There are no words to express the gravity of this awakening of human consciousness. It took the courage of our bravest energetic warriors of our angelic legion of the 144. Those of you remembering the number codes are symbolic and multidimensional and beyond time and space. The timelines and dates given are merely anchor points, nodes, and nodules as points of reference. For us to bridge the dragon lines of all space-time continuums into the merging of the one true source. Even if this doesn't make sense to your conscious mind, it does to your superconsciousness. We call cosmic, Christ, or Buddha, etc. Many concepts pointing to the same source of love. Regardless of what the mind may be telling you, it is time to feel your way through all barriers, blocks, and gates into the infinite light of your true essence, your sacred self we call ascended mastery. Keep rising in the glory and honor of our pure awareness we call bright virtue. Ground into Pachamama as we rise together, angels of heaven on earth. In the eternal now, we are the world bridgers, bringing all timelines and dimensions into the one still center within. Keep going through and through and through until total compression breakthrough into the full fifth dimensional embodiment of luminous beings of eternal life. Aho! It is now 8.22 p.m. PST on 8.22.2021.22.22 portal divine 44 and an 8.8 gateway of the lion's gate with this alignment with Regulus one of our higher dimensional star lineages connected to the royal lions of the new Lemuria. With this powerful shift of the ages energies flowing in and this great quickening, we're witnessing many intense earth changes. Right now, many floods all over the world, massive flooding, they're calling catastrophic floods in Tennessee, Nashville, from these hurricanes, also Chihuahua in Mexico, Flash flooding, Veracruz, Mexico, from Hurricane Grace, massive floods, North Carolina still having flooding, and also in the Congo, Africa, North and South, Kivu. What we're witnessing is multidimensional. There is not only one factor to what we are witnessing all over this realm, also around the Ring of Fire and all over this realm, many volcanic eruptions happening today especially around the ring of fire all up the spine of pachamama in south america in chile peru up through central america nicaragua guatemala by mexico city up into the crown of lemuria with an activation of the great sitkin volcano this is in the andrianov islands where we're getting a lot of these earthquake activations in the crown of Lemuria and in Russia, Japan, down through Indonesia, Vanuatu, Ethiopia received an activation, Iceland, 
many volcanic activities. These are like release valves for Pachamama, for Mother Earth, as she's going through this great shift, this great ascension, letting go of all of the false matrix and purging all the energies that no longer serve her or her children. And although Schumann resonance very quiet all day, more quiet than usual, as I checked the church right at 822, we're receiving right in this now moment a massive blast of higher dimensional waves starting to come in. They're not even recorded yet. The amplitude is not even out on the websites. But I know this is a big one. My queen and I are really feeling this one, so we know you're most likely feeling this too. And this is coming directly from the great central sun, both internally and external. What is external is internal. No separation in reality. So we probably won't be able to report on this until tomorrow. 882 coming in 828. Earlier 818. And over the last 24 hours we had many activations. 154 M1.5 or greater. And of course the most powerful today in the head of the serpent coiled in the Kundalini, the root chakra, in South Sandwich Islands with the 7.1. We put out a transmission earlier today on this activation and the sine wave that flowed up the spine of Pachamama and out the crown. She is preparing for the full Kundalini awakening early today. One after another activation in the root chakra, South Sandwich Islands. Earliest today at 337 UTC 5.1 magnitude, 37 into 73 heaven on earth. Then flowing up into Easter Island in the most powerful portal there, 4.7. And then up into Peru, central Peru with a 5.0. And then up into Puerto Rico with a 3.5. This is the merging of the Lemurian and the Atlantean, the new Lemuria, new Atlantis of the new earth, then flowing up into central California, 3.1, and Smith Valley, Nevada, up into the crown of Lemuria, Alaska Peninsula, 3.2, and then over Indonesia, 4.5, Council of Nine. Then we had another flow that flowed up and around. This is connected to the Ouroboros, starting in south. Sandwich Islands again 4-6 up into Puerto Rico 3-0 through the United States at Medford, Oklahoma with a 3-9 then up into the Crown Chakras, Southeastern Alaska 3-2 and then the Aleutian Islands this is where almost the exact location that the volcanic eruptions happening with a 4.9 13 of the Divine Goddess then down into Taiwan Strait with a 4-4, another 8 portal activation, 4-6 Myanmar, India border, right on the tropic. These two are right on the tropic of Cancer. And then down into Indonesia with the 4-5, Council of Nine, then below the tropic of Capricorn, Kermadec Islands, 4-8, another 12, and then back down into Sandwich Islands, creating this great spiral, the wheel of Dharma spinning. Then we return with a 4.9 South Sandwich, Quinton, Oklahoma, 3.0, 3.7, 3.0, 3.33 portal, activating the 37 into the 73 heaven on earth. San Antonio de los Cobras, Argentina, South America, 4.1, then another 4.9 South Sandwich, Smith Valley, Nevada, 3.0, then in the Greenland Sea, there's another volcanic activation there too. With a 4-5, Council of Nine, back into Smith Valley, Nevada, 3-0. Argentina, South America, 4-1. South Sandwich, 4-9, 5-8. Peru, 4-6. Oaxaca, Mexico, 4-5. And then the South Pacific Ocean, 4.6. Japan, 4-4. South Sandwich, 5-0. Russia, 4-5. Kyrgyzstan, in the sacred portal where the three holy mountains, this is one of the most powerful portals on the earth, where Tian Shan, Celestial Mountain, Kunlun in the middle, Himalayan in the south merge together, creating the most powerful spiral vortex with a 4.3 activation, Indonesia 4.6, South Sandwich 4.5, and then the most powerful 7.1 at 2133 UTC. Then the Aleutian Islands, Rat Islands, Crown of Lemuria 4.0, Iran 4.4, New Zealand 4.0, Haiti 4.5, 
back in the South Sandwich, 5-0. East Coast of Honshu, Japan, 4-7. Puerto Rico with another 3-7, bridging these heaven and earth energies. And then back in the South Sandwich with a 5.1. This was about 28 minutes ago. Now it is 8.33 Pacific Standard Time. This was a 5.1 activation. 3.05 UTC Universal Time, which is the 23rd of August. We are still 22. 22 here, the Cosmic 22. So now I'll tell you all a quick story before we continue with today's transmissions because of the synchronicities and the strangeness of it all. Today, I went on a journey to purchase a used office chair for my queen for her office. And I found a nice looking one on Facebook Marketplace for like 10 bucks. And the guy, the image of his profile was like a Q image. So I thought, oh, this will be pretty interesting. And when he sent me the address synchronically, it was an address of a home that I had been looking at earlier on Craigslist that was local for rent. And as I pulled up to this guy's house, there were huge sunflowers in the neighbor's yard. My queen and I have been having a lot of synchronicities with sunflowers. And then as we started to talk about the craziness of what was going on in the world, talking about the scamdemic and all these things, he brought up the fact that his wife's stepmother is Judy Mikovitz from the documentary. I don't know if you've seen this. The scientist, the main scientist, Judy, that's in this documentary about the scamdemic, the pandemic, was his wife's stepmother. And I had mentioned that I saw his house listed earlier for rent. And he said, I'm not renting it. I am selling my house. So this house that I found earlier was some kind of scam. And he had mentioned they're heading down to California. They're going to stay the next year with Judy. And this gentleman was a truck driver. We talked about the truck drivers in Australia going on strike and the potential of that happening in this country and many other things. But I thought it was very interesting. That's why I tell people you cannot make this shift up 12-12 coming in. And it was just another event to add to the weirdness with this full moon energy, these shifts going on. And every day... One synchronicity after another. As you all know, we're definitely in the twilight zone. So let us know in the comments below if anything strange, weird, synchronic happened to you today. And I want to let you all know thank you for your comments, your feedback. Our Lightworkers teams really enjoy reading your comments and it really helps them out a lot, especially with these ascension symptoms and the strangeness of what's going on in the world right now. So we really appreciate you all and your support, and your kindness, your light, your compassion for humanity. All right, now let us continue. We have a lot to cover in today's transmissions. But first, my sacred condor pull a card for you all from the tarot deck, Dreams of Gaia, from Raven Phelan. And the card she pulled for you today is Two of Air. The keywords are duality, polarity, separation, unity, dichotomy, integration, choice, big picture. The key phrase is, everything has an opposite. Duality divides and separates. Polarity unites and integrates. When you create, you also destroy. Embrace an open mind. Nothing is ever black and white. A choice between dichotomy and integration. Sometimes both parties can be right. That is the paradoxical nature of this universe. Meaning, the two of air represents both duality and polarity, and the theory that everything in creation has an opposite. Duality is the theory that two opposing forces come together to create a state of chaos. In this theory, positive and negative poles repel each other, and so there is a constant and ongoing battle between the two, where one seeks to overcome or to be rid of the other. Polarity, however, is the idea that two opposing forces exist in all things within the universe, not as separate competing forces, but as complementary, opposing aspects of a singular whole. In this theory, one is just as necessary as the other. One does not exist without the other, and in some situations, depending upon one's perspective, one can even be an identical mirror image of the other. Consider a magnet, for example. It is made up of a positive pole and a negative pole. Without either one or the other, the magnet ceases to be a magnet. You cannot remove a negative half from the positive half. 
because there is no half of one and half of the other. There is only the whole. If you were to divide a magnet in two, all you would succeed in doing is one of two things. You would create two separate magnets or destroy the magnet. As the theory of polarity points out, there are opposites. And while one has no identity or meaning without the other, neither is intrinsically good or bad. Fear is, love is, light is, dark is. Love can be as destructive as fear, and fear can be beneficial. It can save lives and inspire the desire to improve or heal. It can also make you more empathetic, understanding, and appreciative. More often than not, both polar opposites are experienced in unison. For instance, when you create something, you destroy the state that it existed prior to you creating it. You create and destroy in unison. They are not separate states. They are the same state seen from two different perspectives. When you love something, you most probably also fear losing it. The fear might not be voiced or even acknowledged. It might even be denied. It is, however, still present. You would fight to protect that something because you love it, but you also fight because your fear of losing it or seeing it harmed. Therefore, to love is also to fear, and to act from a place of love is to also act from a place of fear. You might choose to lose weight and exercise and say that you are doing so because you love yourself, and so you deserve to have a healthy body. At the same time, it could be said that you choose to lose weight and exercise because you fear what may happen if you do not. Your choice is motivated by both love and fear. Again, it is the same state simply viewed from two different perspectives. That is polarity. With the duality principle, however, one force is always better than the other. Right and wrong, love and hate, light and dark, positive and negative, creation and destruction. All illustrate extreme opposites where one is perceived to be good and the other is bad. And the primary goal is for good to triumph over, to overcome the bad. Duality divides and creates two separate states. It creates a state of one versus the other. It creates a warlike state of conflict that serves only to perpetuate more chaos. Duality is black and white. Polarity is the entire spectrum. Duality divides and competes. Polarity unites and accepts. The two of air offers a choice between two paths. You can choose a path of dichotomy or one of integration. One offers conflict and the other offers peace. And now today, from a gift from Gaia, the Lion's Gate ceremony is now underway. Leaders, rise up. Remember who you are. The sun is in alignment with Regulus, the heart of the lion, and the true Lion's Gate ceremony is now open. This is a portal holding the sacred wisdom for you to know thyself, the ancient self, Leo, and in the remembrance you are able to unlock the divine blueprint of your ancient future self your Aquarian higher evolved being that is now awakening and being activated from your source code within your DNA, hence why the world is performing as it is today. This sacred portal falls on a blue moon, which is the third seasonal full moon out of the rare four that we are receiving this year. And not just this, it is on the Aquarian Leo axis, which brings more power to the sacred alignment of the Lion's Gate Stargate. Sun on Regulus, exact to the precise minute at 1.50 a.m. BST, 23rd of August, at 5 degrees Leo. Completing the Stargate is the triangle code to Orion's belt and Sirius, opposing the moon at 5 degrees Aquarius in orb with our Lord Jupiter, Abundance, sitting at 2 degrees Aquarius. Please join me in expanding in love into and through the heart portal. And let us join together in supporting what is truly most important as the guardians of earth that we are, honoring our sacred mothers, receiving our heavenly fathers, tending to our ancient tree of life. Remember who you are, sharing the light codes of growth with you as you as love, Andrea, from a gift from Gaia.com, and from Divine Sister of the Light, Karen Lithica, New Earth Awakening. As you transition, we transition in an ever-expanding continuum of light. Day by day, your heart is expanding, integrating, connecting to higher vibrational love. See the new earth like an oasis, a haven for souls of light to live in harmony and abundance. Know you are welcome to visit, dear ones, as the new earth is whole, alive and well in the higher dimensions. You simply need to close your eyes and open your consciousness to a new reality of light. 
Many are waiting for your arrival, dear ones, for the great transition is taking place as many star nations assist the transition. Fill your heart with joy. Seek the wonder in your world as you reach the outer margins of your construct. Know the window to the new earth is within you, dear one, within every cell of your physical to your light body, as your role now is to assist others to awaken and embrace the transition to light. We send love and joy to our global family of light. Know you are shining and embracing the change. We see the collective synergy of light-minded souls joining in a high frequency of light as the collective consciousness of humanity is expanding, reaching the corners of the universe. Powerful you are, sending waves of cosmic love, the Arcturians and Karen Lithica, from KarenLithica.com, and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Laura Pleiadian, Full Moon, August 22nd, 2021, Auspicious Expansion. Hello everyone, welcome to the unfolding of your consciousness as your God Self. Here we have a full moon coming up as a culmination of a cycle and potential rebirth on Sunday, August 22nd, 2021 at 9.02 a.m. ADT. This full moon, like all moments, is processed and experienced uniquely through your frequency. Recently, I've been studying astrology based on the actual constellations in the sky, which ends up being very different than the classical Western astrology. I will share more on this soon. So remember, this full moon is 100% unique to you, where you are at, what your life focuses and has been, and whether or not your blueprint is harmonious to these exact degrees and frequencies of this full moon. For the most part, since Jupiter is aspecting this full moon, there will be some sort of expansion in your life. This depends on what your blueprint is and the interactions that take place within it in your natal chart. Jupiter, the planet of expansion of spiritual growth, financial growth, fortune, and personal growth on many levels. Now this does not always work out how one thinks or hopes it will. If you were to never hear this, and later after this full moon look back, say in one month's time, you may, keyword is may, notice where the expansion took place, either in your personal life or in the world. So this may or may not impact you personally. Definitely, for some of you, it will. The full moon is in Aquarius and is a culmination since the last new moon of manifestation of that new beginning. This full moon in Aquarius is conjunct Jupiter, the planet of benefit and expansion. The sun being opposite the moon is therefore opposite Jupiter, so therefore things may backfire, especially if your focus has been more selfish and self-serving and not for spiritual growth. Venus trine Saturn and Mars trine Uranus brings potential opportunities for love and sudden changes. Again, and this is the critical thing to be aware of, this depends on several things, your blueprint, your life plan for this incarnation, and how you are living either in harmonious flow through your heart and potentially how much fear you have to still face to live in your heart more. Living in your heart is the harmonious way of being. A coherency that signals clearly all that you are aligned with at the harmony, soul, heart, love level. So either way, as much as possible, let go of attempting to control things. Live in your heart and through your heart. Let your heart expand in all moments. Live as the God Self you eternally are now. Then and in all moments, this will and always does, no matter what unfold perfectly for you. And you may just receive the auspicious expansion your soul desires for you. All now and in eternal love and bliss always, blessing you now with the divine counsel of overseers from the new divine humanity dot com. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, S.A. Smith, Ascension Update. I had visitors last night. Like you, I've been very excited about what we're going through and waiting for. I reached out to my guides to see if we're on track and how this is going. They sent me angelics, aka source messengers. These are the same angelics I work with during sessions with clients, so I'm very familiar with them. They have such an amazing high vibration, it's like being in the presence of Source itself. They came in with explicit words for you all that they needed me to share here. Firstly, they wanted you to know, first and foremost, that you are loved. They see you, are with you, and appreciate all the work you are doing. Secondly, they want you to know the light has won and the flash is imminent. They told me to let you firmly know that. They don't want anyone slipping backwards at this point. We are in the gate. Moving forward to the flash is imminent. They said that multiple times. 
there is a bit of a delay as some logistics are being worked over. This is a needed extension of a short time. They wanted me to make sure you realize this will be a short delay. Days, possibly a couple weeks tops. They want you to realize we are still in the release gate for the ships. That is the new guidepost to be watching for. It will happen as they had said previously. Then you have three days until the flash. Again, they want you to know the flash is imminent. They said we are still counting sleeps, not linear time. What is three or ten more sleeps to you at this point to get this to go smoothly? They again want you to know you are loved. Do not lose sight of your mission. You are here to spread light and keep your vibration high. They also said those that receive this message will be filled with joy and understandings. They are the ones that are ready to move forward. If this triggers you in any way, look within and ask why. Again, they want you to know that you have done it. Enough are awake and holding the vibration needed. The ships can literally happen any night as of last Wednesday. We are moving forward and it is imminent. It was a big night last night. I felt excited by the amazing visitors. Thankful too for the update and thrilled it's still moving forward at a quickened pace. Remember the light has won. Each night from here forward is a night of possibilities. Much love and light, Divine Ones, from a girl in the universe dot com. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Divine Feminine 7777, it seems like the full moon energy is getting stronger by the hour. The August full moon is happening on the 21st, 22nd, and Aquarius too, the same as the July full moon. Aquarius is all about creating our own life and following our own path, being who we truly are as souls, not what others, the society expects from us. August was energetically different as July and the second full moon in Aquarius is reminding us to check what we didn't clear with the last one, to find ways to move out of the old and step into our power more, manifest what we desire and open up to the abundant and nourishing energy that is coming in right now. For those that didn't clear everything with the last full moon, this full moon will be unpleasant as they will be pushed by the universe to make the next step forward. This might cause triggering or even tower moments. For others, the full moon might bring important revelations and deeper understandings of the journey, the mission, the changes that are taking place right now in the collective energy. The emotions are running high and a lot can feel sadness, anger, disappointment, loneliness. Always be mindful of the fact that you are feeling the collective energy and also your abilities are a gym which means that you can shift the energy and clear everything that is not yours out of your system. That will make you feel so much better because the full moon takes place during the final hours of Leo season. There is a sense of endings and also a sense of excitement, anticipation and new beginnings in the air. A new season with new energy that is going to affect us differently than the Leo energy did. Everything is always changing and we are here navigating these changes the best way we can. Enjoy the full moon and release everything you don't need anymore. And now today from Order of the Star, Aquarius Full Moon, August 2021. On August 22nd, 2021, we have the second Aquarius Full Moon of the year. The first Aquarius Full Moon was last month and can be seen as the entrance point to this energy. And the second Aquarius Full Moon in August can be seen as the exit point to this energy. Both these full moons are working in tandem with one another, so if something transpired under the July 23rd full moon that felt incomplete in some way, we may find that this August full moon sheds some light or allows us to release something once and for all. Full moons light up the night sky, illuminating all that is dark. They can be a symbol for the illumination of a higher and greater truth that allows us to find closure and free ourselves from all that is no longer necessary. Falling in the sign of Aquarius, there is the potential for this full moon to amplify change, activate our desire for greater freedom, or shine a spotlight on all that needs to be revolutionized in our lives. Aquarius energy is all about doing things differently and stepping away from our comfort zone in order to experiment with something new. It encourages innovation, growth, and looking at things from a new perspective. With the sun also wrapping up its journey in the sign of Leo at the time of this full moon, there is an added boost of creative and courageous energy on offer to us, which can be used to help any new visions take flight. While full moons typically represent completion points, know that there are creative energies on offer to help take endings and morph them into new potentials. 
Aquarius also rules over technological advancements and policies that are put in place to protect the whole rather than just the individual. While focusing on the community and the whole is great, when it swings too far out of balance, Aquarian energy can sometimes be too quick to bypass the emotional, compassionate side of humanity and instead can look at things from a more technical and machine-like viewpoint. We may see more of these themes come to light, especially on a global level, under the second wave of this Aquarius full moon. Know that with Aquarius energy it is all about seeing things from a new perspective, keeping an open mind, and finding ways to stay out of black and white thinking. Jupiter, which is currently retrograde in the sign of Aquarius, is also conjunct this full moon, making its energy very active. Jupiter expands what it touches. So it's likely that whatever is manifesting for us under this full moon will be loud, bold, and clear for all to see. There is no guesswork with this August full moon. It will deliver what it needs to deliver and will take what it needs to take. Take some comfort in knowing that if you do not need to make a decision, there is energy on your side that brings clarity, allowing you to make a clear-cut decision. Trust your instincts and try not to second-guess yourself. The energies of this full moon are strong and courageous, so connect with that place and forge ahead in whatever direction feels right to you. On a deeper level, this full moon is guiding us to connect to the energies of our past in order to use them as fuel for our future. We may have had to let go of so much over the last year. We may find ourselves standing in an empty field, wondering where our old life has disappeared to. There is a beautiful frequency flowing in with this full moon that reminds us that no matter where we stand today, the power and love that we have cultivated in the past still exists. While we may be looking at a totally different life, the energy of our past triumphs still remain, and we can use that power, that love, and that strength of our past and apply it to this new chapter that is waiting for us. All is not lost. There is wisdom in the air. There is an energy dancing in the breeze of all who have traveled on this land before us and all who will travel on this land after us. We can connect with that energy. We can connect with that breeze and feel into the strength and wisdom that it offers. So many things have transpired on this earth. Good things, bad things, tragic things, heroic things. So many lives and stories have graced the surface of this planet. And all of that energy, all of that fuel is carried in the wind. Under this August full moon, we can connect to the fuel that reminds us of our strength, our power, and our courage. We can connect to the fuel that creates the rivers and the mountains and some of the greatest ancient civilizations. We can connect to our ancestors, their voices and their wisdom. We can connect to the life force that lives all around us and will continue to live on till the end of time. There are strong cosmic currents linked to this full moon. It is a time of expansion, clarity, and honoring the changes within us. It is a time for making clear-cut decisions and for trusting our instincts. It is also a time to remember that all your past triumphs and successes exist as energy. They surround you and support you, and they are there to be used by you under the light of the full moon. Tune in with that energy and recreate it in a new and better way. Tune in with that energy under the August full moon and use it to surrender to all that is gone and to welcome the new chapter that patiently awaits. From ForeverConscious.com And from Astro Butterfly you ask for better, that's why things are clearing out. Welcome the change and be open to new beginnings. Idol, Ahmed. Full moon in Aquarius, the big why. On Sunday, August 22nd, we have a beautiful full moon in Aquarius. This is a special full moon because it's the second consecutive full moon in Aquarius. Last month, we also had a full moon in Aquarius at 1 degree, while this is one is at 29 degrees Aquarius. It's rather uncommon to have two full moons in the same sign. The last time we had two full moons in Aquarius was 2002. Do you remember what happened back in July to August 2002? You can expect similar themes, patterns, and events to emerge now. What makes this full moon in Aquarius truly special is that it is conjunct the most beneficial planet in our solar system, Jupiter. Having a full moon conjunct Jupiter is an astrologer's dream come true. This full moon literally makes zero negative aspects. The sun at 29 degrees Leo is conjunct the majestic star Regulus, the star of success, brilliance, and honor. The cherry on top, both rulers of the full moon, Saturn and Uranus, make harmonious aspects with other planets, 
Saturn in Aquarius is trying Venus in Libra, and Uranus in Taurus is trying Mercury and Mars in Virgo. Pretty amazing, really. The full moon in Aquarius will bring us hope, clarity, and balance. Things we hadn't had in a long time. 29 degrees Aquarius, and the 29 degree of any sign is a closing degree. If last month's full moon at 1 degree Aquarius showed us where we stand and what kind of problems we need to tackle if we want things to change, this full moon at 29 degrees Aquarius will show us what is possible once we've done the Saturn in Aquarius work. Saturn will be in Aquarius for a while until 2023, and so far we've seen the more restrictive side of Saturn in Aquarius. Themes like the lockdown and social distancing are very much Saturn and Aquarius. This doesn't mean the whole Saturn and Aquarius transit is about restrictions. When a planet enters a new sign, it usually exposes the problems of that sign, what needs fixing. This is what Saturn did pretty much from the time it ingressed into Aquarius for the first time, March 2020. In 2021, Saturn is squaring Uranus in a very close orb, bringing lots of friction. Who said change was easy? Full moon in Aquarius, your big why. But as the Saturn-Uranus square wanes from 2022 onwards, we will slowly, slowly witness the positive expression of Saturn in Aquarius. Saturn is the great teacher, a teacher that not only limits and restricts, but also rewards hard work and dedication. You will eventually reap the fruits of your hard work, because there's nothing you do that goes unnoticed by the great master. The full moon in Aquarius on August 22nd will give you a glimpse into this beautiful Aquarius big picture, into what's possible if you hang in there and don't give up. The full moon conjunct Jupiter will remind us of our hopes, visions, goals, and purpose. It will remind us of our big why, of what really drives us, the reason for all of it. You can turn that vision into a reality. It's just a matter of time, dedication, and persistence. Pay attention to any events, insights, or downloads you have at the full moon because they will give you glimpses into this bright future that awaits you. Everything you want is waiting for you on the other side of consistency. Full Moon in Aquarius from AstroButterfly.com And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Meg Benedict, Cosmic 22. As we continue to integrate and adjust to the transformative Lionsgate activations, a rare Cosmic 22 blue moon lends a helping hand. A blue moon occurs when two consecutive full moons fall in the same sign. Like lunar centuries, the two full moons in Aquarius surround and enhance this year's Lionsgate. The first full moon at 1 degree Aquarius happened on July 24th. And the second full moon, a blue moon, occurs at 29 degrees Aquarius this Sunday, August 22nd. Since the extraordinary global timeline bifurcation on December 12, 2019, 12, 12, 12, the world has been adjusting to the New Earth timeline and the Aquarian era. It requires a gradual extraction of our entire energy from the old Atlantean Armageddon timeline and reincarnational trap Plus the subsequent trauma clearing and core wound healing, this process can be challenging and tumultuous. It will take time and perseverance, but the rewards are well worth it. The Aquarian era heralds a new dawn and a new world paradigm. The timeline extraction provides a unique opportunity to release old patterns, reset your operating system, and reboot a fresh start that involves soul connection, freedom, and quantum access. The Aquarian Blue Moon encourages individual action and innovation that creates a better, more efficient, humanitarian world. Master Number 22 returns one month later with the Vernal Equinox on September 22nd. The Equinox arrives at zero degree Libra, opening a stargate portal in zero point energy while day and night are equal length. It is the balance point between opposing forces in a rare moment of galactic equilibrium, the gate is opening to infinite potential. According to numerologist Christine Delaroy, 22 represents the master builder, one who can transform dreams into concrete reality. 22 is often found in the charts of people who are doers, leaders, and visionary inventors. Cosmic 22 enhances our ability to envision the New Earth timeline and manifest it for all of humanity. When two and two unite, the ideal merges with the practical. 22 represents large-scale events and accomplishments achieved through cooperation and diplomacy. 
Cosmic 22 ushers in big changes that can improve the lives of the masses. Now is the time to fulfill your soul destiny and contribute to building the new earth. From NewEarthCentral.com And from Divine Brostar of the Light, Graham, Forscut, August Full Moon, and the Mary Magdalene, Rigel, Bloodline Alignment, August 22nd. Dan Winters recently published YouTubes on the Tholth, Magda, Merlin bloodlines comes as planet Pluto passes the Amenti, IM10, Decagon link to Rigel. Notably, this full moon has many planets linking to Rigel via the Decagon, DNA Akashic Records. Uranus third eye is 36 degree from Rigel. Jupiter plus asteroid DNA are with our Earth plus moon, 108 degree from Rigel. Asteroid Sekhmet, Rigelian, is 108 degrees from Rigel. Asteroid Magdalene is 144 degrees from Rigel. Asteroids Merlin, Arthur, and Hermes, all Rigelian bloodline, are together for this full moon. Famous Magda Rigelian bloodline starseed include Carrie, Anne, Moss, Trinity in the Matrix, 21st August, Sinead O'Connor, 8th December, Leonard Nimoy, Mr. Spock, 26th March, Stephen Ditko, Marvel Comics, 2nd November, Martin Goodman, Marvel Comics, 18th January, all born on the nodes of the Decagon aligned to Rigel, from GalacticAstrologyAcademy.com, and from Divine Bro Star of the Light, Levi Banner, from Shamanic Astrology Mystery School, Aquarius Full Moon Times 2. This moon, full in Aquarius at 12 p.m. GMT today, August 22nd, and is the second full moon in a row in this sign. This is a rare occasion of two Aquarius full moons that only happens every 19 years. You will see a bright star near the moon, that's Jupiter. This full moon could feel expanded and amplified by the jovial planet's big energy. Aquarius is the archetypal energy of a visionary, avant-garde, unique individual, the rebel, the radical revolutionary. Aquarius is the scientist with the freedom to make grand experiments. The mystery school of Aquarius teaches about freedom of thought, how to think outside of the box, and ultimately how to expand consciousness as far up and out as it can go. The sun, the light of life, is in the season of Leo and is always being opposed when the moon is full. The moon is illuminating the dynamic between the two signs, especially this time since there is a second full moon in this opposing sign. The signs that are directly across from each other have more in common than different. Both Leo and Aquarius are visionaries that like to do things their own way. They both value freedom and like the power of creativity. During the second Aquarius full moon, you might take some time out to create a visioning ceremony. Ceremony is how you make it, so anything goes. Suggestions are meditating with the moon, viewing the night sky for transmissions, or going inward in silence, listening to what comes in. With this expanded full moon, you might write down the insights that come from your experience. This is a time of visioning. You might ask yourself, what experiment would give me the next level of information I need to proceed? How can I open my mind to see more clearly? How can I expand my awareness? What visions are coming through as I witness my thoughts? You might take some time to experience the mind's eye and get into a state of witnessing thoughts. Now is a time of expanding consciousness and with enhanced awareness, seeing what the universe has in store for you. And today from Here in the Moon Astrology, Week Ahead Forecast, August 22nd through the 29th, 2021. Inconvenient Truths. Here comes another big week of truth or dare, of all too visible, tangible karmic outworkings of cause and effect stirred into a cocktail of unintended consequences. On Sunday, August 22nd, the second full moon in Aquarius in four weeks, ruled by unpredictable planetary wild man, Uranus, is a reminder that the 2020 through 2043 Aquarian area means business by way of relentless radical disruptive transformation, and that Saturn currently in the sign of Iconoclast is just a warm-up act for Pluto and Aquarius from March 2023 through 2043. Amplifying everything good or bad, the moon at the master 29th degree of Aquarius is conjunct Jupiter in a grand cross with the sun in Leo and the karmic nodes of fate trying the galactic center. The sky god operates by delivering unpredictable shocks, reversals, or insights that electrify you out of your comfort zone 
teaching you to collaborate with the inevitable. A double full moon is a time of culmination. The results are in on the progressive changes you've made or the resistance you've put up since December 21st, 2020, when Saturn and Jupiter crossed into Aquarius. There's more. All of this is playing out against a much longer and more impactful planetary cycle, the ongoing squares between the great eliminator Pluto and Capricorn and disruptor Eris and Aries. On August 27th, 28th, the square is exact with another ahead on October 9th. The 24th, 25 degree point of Capricorn and Aries will be triggered into 2022, followed by conjunctions to Eris from Chiron and Saturn all the way to 2028. Eris delivers inconvenient truths, revealing what has been hidden and what is bubbling just underneath the norms of our collective. The disruptor challenges the reality of anything based on false pretenses, provoking change by upsetting the status quo, upsetting the apple's cart. Eris's influence operates by breaking open outworn structures, situations, belief systems, and relationships to allow a wider awareness to enter, cutting through the comfort zone of your existing sense of reality or entitlement. Think back over the last few years from 2016, when collectively everything that can be challenged is being challenged. This week as Mercury opposes slippery Neptune, trines Pluto and squares the galactic center, expect revelations, the emperor's new clothes, anyone along with some of your long-held beliefs being cleanly dismantled by reality checks, all the better to see more clearly. Stay on your witness perch. Don't jump to hard and fast conclusions and maintain high heart neutrality. The Chandra symbol for Pluto 24 Capricorn says it all. Stalactites and stalagmites almost grown together. The sensation here is that the whole earth is going through radical changes of an overwhelming destiny kind and somebody has to be there on the spot to witness, to draw the lessons and meanings into a common currency. A shadow aspect looms large here. Past karmas reverberate. There is a sense that this has happened before and nobody ever responded appropriately. The great mass of this energy is hidden, is unknown is out of view. This makes it more potent and decisive. You just have to strip yourself back, surrendering your old pictures, viewing everything afresh. Yet the baggage is ancient and empirical, so there will be fatal flaws manifesting. There are times when great truths are revealing through strange cracked vessels. Inside Degrees, Elias Lonsdale. From here in the moon astrology.co.uk and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Lua Astrology, Mars and Virgo trine Uranus, retrograde in Taurus, full moon in Aquarius, sun enters Virgo, the skies are electric. We reach the conclusion of a two-part story that began at the end of July, with the full moon on the final anoretic degree of Aquarius. Issues around friendship, freedom, and the future are acute. There's huge anticipation and some anxiety. We're motivated to take action, innovate, experiment, try a new path, throw it all up in the air to see where it falls. The universe jolts us awake, launches us into the air to see life from a new perspective. If you've been feeling like your battery is low, this is a cosmic jumpstart. Once in a blue moon, life surprises us. Once the sun enters Virgo, the static is grounded and it's easier to see what practical steps we can take to improve circumstances. Now is the time to discern what we need, what helps, what hinders. The spotlight is on health and well-being first and foremost, followed by dedication to work, service, daily duties. Take time to get organized. Note how your body responds as you move through the day without judging or criticizing. Life doesn't have to be perfect for you to shine. From LeahWhitehorse.com Today from the Zolkin Times, Kin 251, Blue, Self-Existing Monkey. Self-existing is the name for the number four, and its keywords are definition, form, and measure. Day four is all about the details, taking a closer look and scrutinizing. Weigh up what you need and what you don't. Make a list and take care of the practicalities. Only after you do this may you proceed. Gather information and plan your next move based on facts. Today is Blue Monkey and the keywords associated with it are illusion, magic, and play. Monkey tricks us to teach us. If you are being foolish or refusing to acknowledge a truth, Monkey will show you, often in a hilarious way, the errors of your actions. 
When you combine the meaning of the day and the number, the result is divine magic. Look at the details today and accept these facts, or monkey will make you accept the facts. This is for your own good, so don't curse the monkey for teaching you a valuable lesson. Don't despair, though. Monkey's intentions are always good, and often magic is the reward monkey brings when lessons are successfully learnt. Do watch out for overdoing the details and introspection, as it can lead to intense monkey-mindedness. If you find yourself going deep within, but also going in circles, this is why. As always, on monkey days, meditation works well. The guide for the day is the blue hand, which represents healing and accomplishment. This suggests that if you pay heed to monkey, much can be accomplished, and this is healing. Today, from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Blue, self-existing monkey, Kin 251, 22nd of August, 2021, Accomplishing Magic. 22, 8, 20, 21, equal 35, equal 4, 8, 5, equal 4, 13, equal 4, 4, equal 8. Day codes, 22, architect of peace, master builder. 35, empowerment through compassion. 4, foundation form, earth, angelic. 8, abundant, infinite source flow. Month year codes, 8, abundant, infinite source flow. 5, freedom change, transformation, liberation. 13. Goddess. Cosmic Conscious. Natural Lore. 4. Foundation Form. Earth Angelic. Kin 251 equal 8. Abundance. Infinity Flow. 22 and 44. Master Builder Codes today for construction of a new foundation based on peace and prosperity. The self-existing number 4 tone is bringing a triple 4 code. Today we are defining a new foundation built on magic and play. The 22nd of August is also the day of the blue moon in Aquarius, the second successive full moon in August and in the same zodiac sign. This is quite exceptional. These two revolutionary moons are also sandwiching the Lion's Gate portal, so this evolutionary blast is amplified to the max. The ruling planet of Aquarius is Uranus, which is currently retrograde in Taurus, stationing direct. So we have rocket fuel igniting our quest to break out of this old box and define a new reality, the exact themes of 4, Chuen. Recapping today's phenomenal codes, we have 22, 4, 4, Master Builder Codes, building a peace foundation for New Earth. Blue full moon in Aquarius, activating New Earth themes and humanity's freedom and evolution. 4, Chuen, guided by 4, Manique accomplishing great magic to break out of the old box and define a new reality what a divine blessing from spirit the cavalry is coming we are getting a helping hand from heaven okay that was really weird i heard the word cavalry but accidentally spelt it incorrectly as cavalry c-a-l-v-a-r-y and my spell check would not let me correct it so i googled it and this is what i discovered cavalry definition and meaning Dictionary.com The hill near Jerusalem, on which Jesus was crucified, the name is Latin for place of the skull. It is also called Golgotha, thus the word Calvary is loosely defined as the crucifixion, another divine message. I am being told that after the crucifixion that Jesus will return with a Calvary riding a white horse. Revelation 19:11 through 16. The story begins in verse 11 when the Apostle John, who wrote the book of Revelation, describes his vision of the future after Jesus has come to earth a second time. I saw heaven standing open, and there before me was a white horse, whose rider is called Faithful and True. With justice he judges and wages war. What a powerful message. Victory to the light is assured. Day 4, the spectacular yellow star wave spell, where we are awakening our sparkle and using our creativity to attract more beauty, grace, and harmony in our lives, so that our lives become a living work of art. Today we are measuring and defining the parameters of our playground, using our magic to create a more sparkly stage upon which to shine our star light. Tone of creation, self-existing, tone 4 in the mental realm. Action measures, power defines, essence form. Self-existing number four takes form and we have ourselves a square shape, self-existing, measuring and defining, very intelligent, fascinated by self, 
we now have built a sturdy platform upon which further growth takes place. Dispense with the rest and build your new solid foundation on the basis of fun, creativity, and magical manifestation. The magic monkey says life must be blissful. If we don't believe it, we can't conceive it. Expand your thinking to access the highest potentials available in any given moment. Everything is possible within the void of creation. Invite Mother Goddess to assist you in energizing your creations, bringing them into form. Herein lies the magic of creation. Co-create with the Goddess and invite Monkey to come out and play. Bring some toys and don't forget the bananas. Our creations need to flow effortlessly and joyfully into form. No struggle force or birthing pains are required. Allow the feminine to guide you in the funnest way possible. Allow the beauty and harmony to flow freely, transforming struggle into art. Allow your new life to become a palette of infinite rainbow colors. Today's question is what form will my new magical playground take? Is it big enough for me to shine extra bright? Go forth and enjoy your cheeky monkey play day. In La Kek a la Kin, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 251, Blue, Self-Existing Monkey. The mantra, the code for today is, I define in order to play. Measuring illusion, I seal the process of magic. With the self-existing tone of form, I am guided by the power of accomplishment. And on this powerful day of accomplishments and transformations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of our monthly pledges on Patreon, our donations that we're able to continue this work. I'd like to thank and welcome Divine Sistar of the Light. I am Helen for your pledge and support on Patreon. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. If you'd like to support our work and help us continue bringing these messages and teachings to the world, you can make a monthly pledge at our link at whitegoldeagle.com or go to patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. We have many extra teachings, practices, and transmissions that are only available on Patreon. So go check those out. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Vanessa Benedict, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We also like to thank Divine Sister of the Light, Joanne Moen, for your donation. Thank you both very much. We appreciate everyone and their support, their contributions, donations, and every other way that you support us in our work. If you'd like to make a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal link at the links at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to thank everyone also for supporting my Sacred Condors artwork on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful goddess zodiac totems, her custom crochet patterns, and other works of art at Luna Goddess Art. And please be sure to go to her new YouTube channel to give her some love and help her build her following there, which is also Luna Goddess Art. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with powerful codes from our Pleiadian Bro Stars and Sisters of the Light. Pleiades 1 Messages, August 22nd, 2021. P1 calling Terrans for Origins Recognition. Attention for calls in PVSE-SDE. Attention, Neva, Avalons arrive. Etheric promotions are finalized. Camera, plus, 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 openings in progress. Arcturians in frequency adjustments. Syrians in frequency adjustments. Martian prisons in divine liberations. Plutonic prisons in magnetic adjustments. Revealer crystals definitely arrive. Sequence of divine events is programmed. Attention Terrans for phases in elevating waves. Terrans call to immediate unity consciousness. Davros AFR, line illumination in progress, 79% non-regressive. The light celebrates. Davros AFR, higher reverberation, 78% non-regressive. The light celebrates. Silver Dragons in Support and Reverberation, 89% Non-Regressive. 
Temporarily end of transmission. Pleiades 1 supporting active missionary channels from DisclosureNews.it. And with that, thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. We appreciate each and every one of you for shining your light brightly into the night, for your beautiful comments and all the support you give us and our great work in assisting humanity in this great awakening process and journey together. So keep walking gently your sacred path with heart and be sure to make it the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.